Hi friends, teacher Stefan here. Today let's work on fantasy stories. Fantasy is my favorite genre or favorite subject of stories. It's fiction, but it's almost the fiction of fiction. Worlds beyond worlds where animals can speak and people can fly and anything is possible. Today's fantasy story is called Going Places with Rosie Rabbit. Now, just with that title, what do you imagine this story is about? Let's look at some warm-up questions. Can you tell a time when you climbed into a big empty cardboard box and pretended to be in a rocket ship, plane, car, or other vehicle? For me, I remember a cardboard box that I painted with buttons and latches and ropes and everything like that on the inside. And when I closed that cardboard door, I pretended I was in a time machine. Where did I go? <clears throat> I think I went to the future, to the end of the universe. And what did I do? I gazed out. I looked out far at all the stars and just said nothing. Me, myself, and I. But I want you to think about how you've been creative with big boxes. What did you make and where did you go? All right, let's begin our story. Look over at the picture on the left and try to understand what's happening. I see one, two, three, four, five rabbits. One is playing with a snake. Another is playing with a choo-choo train. One is sweeping the floor with two penguins in a cart. The other looks like just a baby rabbit watching her older brother in a box. <laughs> now let's begin. When Rosie Rabbit climbed inside the box, it just felt right. Huh. So maybe that's her older sister <clears throat> in the orange sweater. That must be Rosie Rabbit. Rosie said to her, sisters. Oh, they're all sisters. I'm going to drive this bus all over the earth. Watch me go. She put on her cap and off she went. So here we have five sister rabbits, Rosie maybe being the oldest, and the bus driver who wants to drive and travel the world. Well, here I see a picture of a real bus driven by a rabbit bus driver. It's in a very beautiful neighborhood, orange houses and green hills and blue skies. And four of the rabbits are very excited to get on the bus. She drove around bends and over bumps, up hills and beside trees. Then she went by some houses, and there were her sisters. Stop, they cried. We want a ride. Interesting. Now that we've read, we know that this picture is just imagination because that's Rosie, the bus driver. So this is all happening inside the game of her cardboard bus. Okay, now here Rosie has stopped at a train sign. Maybe they're going to ride a train next. 
Her sisters are telling her, come, come, Rosie, let's go to the train. Her sisters climbed in, which is a fancy way of saying they got in. They entered the bus. Go, bus, go, said Rosie. Around all the streets, she drove the bus. Some of her sisters got off at the shops. Some got off at the railroad stop. Okay, so two sisters went this way. Two sisters went that way. And look, we were right. There's the train. And one, two, three, four, five rabbits. A bus is too slow, said Rosie, and she pulled off her cap. Go, train, go, she said. Chug, 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 chug. The train started. Then off it went, down the track so fast that the smoke went in Rosie's eyes. Wait for us, cried her sister. Now that's the power of imagination. What was once a box became a bus. And what was once a bus then became a train. What do you think it will become next? <laughs> I see glaciers or big pieces of ice. This could be Canada and three penguins, and one, two, three, four, five cute rabbits. We thought you might stop. We thought you might not stop, they said. I'm going to a cold place now, said Rosie, maybe to Canada. I'm sailing a ship where there's ice in the sea. It's cold all day and all night. Her sisters snuggled up close. Is this a bus? It's a b -b 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 boat. They're pirates sailing the seas. Oh, look. And now the bus to train to boat is now a vroom, vroom some sort of jeep. I'm just fooling you, cried Rosie. This is not a boat in a cold place. She pulled down the sail. This is a truck in the jungle. We have to go slowly because of the mud. Oh, sticky. And there's a beast creeping up on us. Oh, no, cried her sisters. But does it look like a beast with its long ears? It looks like another rabbit. <laughs> oh, yes, said their mother. Look, there's the five girls jumping out of the box, the train set and penguins in the back, and some delicious sandwiches. You gave us a fright, said the sisters. We thought you were the beast. We drove to places all over the earth, said Rosie. Then you must want a sandwich, smiled Mother. Rosie Rabbit put on the brink right away. Stop. She stopped by the table. We do, she said. Seeing all these places has made us need some food. And look, they are carrot sandwiches. Okay, let's think about a summary for this story. Well, five little rabbits. The oldest rabbit is in a box and plays a game of travel the world with her sisters. With a little imagination and a big box, Rosie takes her sisters to places far and near by bus, train, boat, and truck. 
where did Rosie Rabbit's adventure really take place? Really. If you were to sit and watch them. Did they go to Canada, to Africa? This all happened inside a box, inside one living room of five rabbits. What did Rosie ride? What did Rosie ride in at the start of her adventure? Was it the Jeep, the boat, or the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all over town and the world. <laughs> what places did Rosie imagine during the story? Tall mountains? Far away galaxies? A street for the bus. A railroad track for the train. The sea for the boat. The jungle for the truck. All right, my friends, time for you to think outside the box, which is an expression meaning think creatively. How can you tell that Rosie was good at imagining things? It's all in the story. She was good because her sisters played along with her and even got scared. They believed in the imagination of their sister. Where do you think Rosie Rabbit's ideas come from? Places she has been to or places she has read about? Possibly from the toys the sisters were playing with. Remember the penguins in the cart and the train on the tracks? Who is the main character? The beast? or Rosie Rabbit, which is also the title of our story. How do we know it's Rosie Rabbit besides the title? Well, we follow her adventures. Her choices make the story. The story is about places that Rosie imagined, and we all went along for the ride. Which place in the book would you like to visit? Why? I hope you choose Janada. <laughs> Let's explore together. Make a chart with the headings solid and liquid. Liquid is what's in my cup. Solid is the cup itself. Write one thing from the book under each heading, then draw a picture for each. So you could do train and sea, or sea and ice. <laughs> then go home and tell a family member about this book. Your sister, your brother, your father, your mother, your grandpa, your grandma, or even your pet fish. I want you to talk about all the places in this world or a fantasy world that you would like to visit. That's all the time we have. I'm teacher Stefan. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.